Hello everyone, today I have a simple video for you guys that is also going to function as a guide on how to play it. Uh, this character is absolutely broken, does too many things, it is uh, impossible to punish, it stuns you for so long, it deals a lot of damage, it's, it just does so much, so much all at once. And um, the game feels completely different when he's not in the game, when he's not on your team, when he's not on the enemy team, it just feels completely different. So for early laning phase, we have Thief, which is an incredibly powerful move. I'm always trying to keep it up, uh, like to have the move up as soon as I get to my goal zone, just in case someone is trying to stack. Thief steals five, uh, up to five points uh, from the enemies. Points? Eos Energy. <laughs> It steals up to 5 Aos energy from the enemies, and that is just so powerful because scoring is so strong in this game. Scoring gives you invincibility frames, it gives you healing, it gives you experience, it gives you your 9 meter, but that's not going to be relevant in the early laning. But denying that is just so strong, and that's what makes one of the things that makes uh, Civilized so good in, uh, in the lane. Uh, then we have our ability Prankster. Prankster puts you into stealth mode when you've been outside of the field of view of an enemy for a certain amount of time. When in stealth mode, you get a boosted auto, and your boosted auto out of stealth uh, inflicts the status Fear. Fear is essentially a very long stun where the enemies just are forced to walk away very slowly from you for a certain amount of time. Here I'm pinging my Sylvan to retreat because they're low health, uh, but a very spawn, so now we're ready again. I think we see the enemy jungler like three times here. They just have completely given up on jungling. They just want to be in this lane and die to me, I guess. I don't know what's up with that. We have Hyper Voice Sylvian in the jungle. Just let them do their thing. They're literally playing what's what has not been buffed, but okay, go ahead, buddy. Uh, I guess. And they were also contesting jungle at the start with the bastards. I don't know which one could be a better jungler, but. We're doing pretty well. Uh, where's my Bulbasaur? Jesus Christ. I, I would rather not look at what's happening. Are they taking jungle? Let, let's not talk about it. So, Shadow Sneak is your uh, upgraded move and the one that you should be using most of the times uh, because it's just so strong. It lets you enter stealth mode, which means a boosted auto. It also activates your Razor Claw. It's so powerful. And yeah, Razor Claw is so broken on this character. You have to run Razor Claw. You can run whatever you want, but Razor Claw is pretty much mandatory. Uh, gives you extra attack, it gives you crit rate, it increases the damage of your boosted auto out of Shadow Sneak. So strong. It's crazy. This character does too many things. I don't know what to say. Um, the other move where we're going to be picking is Confuse Ray. I climbed using Faint Attack. But this game that I recorded is specifically as Confuse Ray. It's not a game where I'm particularly popping off at Sableye. In fact, I'd say this is one of the most toned down games. But it's... I just forgot to record. I forgot to record during climbing and I had to... <laughs> I had to hop back in and uh, play the character uh, one more time. And I decided to go with Confuse Ray because I wasn't running it much before. I really like Faint Attack. Faint Attack deals a lot of damage. But yeah, Confuse Ray. Essentially, another stun. It lasts for an ungodly amount of time. It is 2.5 seconds of hitting something else that is in me. Uh, you can, they can hit their uh, allies. They can hit uh, farm for you. They can hit objectives. They can secure objectives for you. It's just so broken. All right. Another thing that this character does that is absolutely broken. You can make people secure objectives or kill their allies for you. Um, look at that, I can just keep on engaging. Uh, engage, up, back out, it's... And I'm keeping two people busy, and I'm not taking any damage pretty much. I'm just annoying them. It's it's just crazy. This guy gets tired of me, he pops an XP, tries to chase me, and uh, he ends up dying again for maybe the fourth time. So wait until the scoring animation is over, and then kill him. It's crazy. What have they done? <laughs> uh, the only thing that really counters this character, there are like a couple things that you can do against Sableye. Uh, the number one thing that you can do against Sableye is to play Sableye. Because uh, the main counter to Sableye, in my opinion, is another Sableye. That, that's just about it. Um, but there's also a couple of other things. So um, any carry with a pocket support 
uh, is going to be dealing pretty well with Sableye. Um, anything with high burst damage that can uh, uh, but runs full heal, like the enemy Absol here, which actually deletes me quite a few times throughout the game, uh, can also do pretty well. I think lane Absol should become like, pretty meta because it does so well against single one. Uh, yes, it can die, but the ability to like obliterate him and to dodge the stun with a full heal, it's so strong. So here, I'm actually making a mistake. They also aren't in focus band, I just noticed. So that's another thing. With focus band, this character can definitely beat the sail line and run off three KO streak. So that guy popping off, whereas their jungler is kind of like, there is kind of throwing the game. Um, it hurts a little bit to see. So I'm going here because I know there's still two enemies and we grab the two KOs and then we're heading top to the Gialeki. Uh, I'm actually helping out the Sylvian farm a little bit. I'm gonna say it like that. Not trying to steal farm from my jungler. So I trust my jungler. Jungle's hyper voice Sylvian. So strong. Uh, so your boosted auto is actually a dash, which is so powerful. It's kind of like the Aegis Slash dash, uh, where it locks on a target that is within the range. Again, Absol, full heal. Uh, really strong. Really strong in Sivali. You could run. I hope we don't see more Absol, but Absol does so well in Sivali, in my opinion. So, um, although this is me like over engaging again, I'm definitely like, I was jumping in cold. <laughs> like, what am I doing here? Am I trying to secure this? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do much. And my Bastos is going to go at very low health. But to be fair, there's three enemies top, but you're not guaranteed that they're going to be pushing uh, that Regio like even. And I don't even know if they did it on purpose. Like, if this is just awareness of the fact that most of the enemies are bottom, so they're not going to be able to do anything. Again, Focus Band. Focus Band saves the Absol here. And uh, my Bastos is not jumping because they're waiting to see if the Absol scores. But what do you think is going to happen here? <laughs> just, just, go, just go bottom. Or go center. Because uh, they're probably taking your jungle at this point. If they're not already at the objective, they're probably taking your jungle. So, uh, more about this character. Running Shadow Sneak because it lets you enter stealth. Which is so powerful and... Uh, I Like... What is this character? What is this character? The fact that it locks onto a target. It completely deletes... Pretty much every attacker, it's... They, they, they fucked up. They fucked up, again. <laughs> Look at this poor Mew. What is he gonna do? Except for die. He thinks he's safe, but I can just chase. I get the boost of speed from self mode, which gives you 20% boost of speed. Uh, to put this into perspective, it's exactly what you would get from a float stone. Uh, and uh, it's more than Gengar gets from its levitate. So, like, it's... Gengar, when he has not attacked anything for a certain amount of time, he gets Levitate, which is an ability that gives you just 10% movement speed. That's it. That's all it gives you. But this guy gets stealth out of it. He gets 20% movement speed. He gets a boosted auto. I know that Gengar does other things, but this is uh, <laughs> pretty crazy. So here I'm being a defender, pretty much. Uh, because I do have this ability to just um, push people away from a big fight to just have them leave. And I can I cannot really get in into the right closet pit, which kind of sucks. Uh, but still. And here I'm going to be chasing the Gengar just because I can. He won this game pretty easily, so. And I'm going to be keeping my shield anyway. But yeah. And again, locks onto the target. Just crazy. And now the Venusaur, which actually has a focus band, I think? That's not a focus band. No, that's just uh, probably the Giga Drain heal. And yeah, now we're gonna go score. There's still our shield. Again, they buff right Plaza this patch. For some reason. Uh, I'm not sure if you get a bigger shield. All I know is that you get 75% uh, scoring speed. So the score factor went from 1 to 3. I'm gonna kill the Mew here. Rip. Rip. <laughs> Rip Mew. Are we gonna get to score, actually? Damn. They're actually gonna let me score. Oh, look at that, Scizor going to score his, uh, his uh, 46, while I'm scoring 50 with no score shield in their home base. Crazy. Crazy stuff happening. Um, so, we're gonna have to deal with this character for a while, which really sucks. Uh, both movesets are fine, 
Here I'm just literally messing around, don't even pay attention to whatever I'm doing. The game has been won, I'm just trying to boost my stats, I guess, or something. And I also have my Unite, so pop the Unite, he starts recalling. Yeah, one thing I didn't mention is Unite makes you recall. What the hell? <laughs> oh man, what have you done? What have you done? Yeah, uh, this is how you play Sableye. You just hop in, leave, hop in again, leave. Uh, you can play it more as a defender, you can play it uh, just as a super score little goblin. Yeah, crazy. Uh, not the craziest stats, but you know, <laughs> we're doing a lot throughout this game. Thank you for watching.